Hey guys, welcome back to NWG Garage. Today I will be working on this Cub Cadet X, XT1 uh, 50. No, XT1 LT50. And what I'll be doing today is I'll be replacing the mower drive belt. And the tools that you need to do this will be a 3 8 ratchet. I have two of them because this 3 8 ratchet will be for something that happens later. A 3 8 socket, a short extension, and a 9 16 socket, and your mower belt. So the first thing that I did was I took the mower deck and I dropped it all the way so I can make it easier to work on later. But first thing you need to do is there are three 3 8 bolts holding on this little plastic cover. One, two, three. There's one on the other side as well that also has three. The first step is to take those off so you can see the belt. So after you get those covers off, there will probably be some grass down inside where the covers were. So you're at to get the grass out somehow. I used a, a vacuum cleaner just to vacuum it out, or you could just probably use compressed air to blow it out, which would be fine. Now this is now I need to take this 9 16 six point socket and this longer 3 8 ratchet to get more leverage on this pulley and the pulley that I will be pulling on is that one right there and this is connected to the spring tensioner I'm going to pull this back like that take the tension off like that and you can just take you should be able to pull the belt off Whichever pulley you can get your hand on. I can't do it right now because I'm only I only have one hand to use. So I'll come back when I have it off one of the pulleys. One tool that I forgot to mention was a 916 wrench, which you need to use after you get the belt off the pulleys or main pulley. You will need to take that wrench and put it on that bolt inside here kind of hard to see right where my finger's pointing there's a bolt right there and you will have to loosen it so this pulley will move back and forth so you can eventually just pop pull out this pull out the belt that was sitting on it so there's no tension left on the belt now you can re reinstall the belt after you get your new belt somewhat put on you want to make sure you put the belt back around the back around the pulleys properly so this is on the right side of the mower where the discharge suit is I have the belt going around this pulley which then goes to this kind of idler pulley it just sits there which that wraps around which this is the back of the belt the back of the belt will go towards that way because when the belt rolls around you want it to the angled part to sit in the groove of the pulleys so it grips the pulleys, pulleys properly, so the back side of it needs to be out. But on this one, the back side needs to be on the pulley itself. And then, get up back over to the other side. The idler pulley, sorry about the light. Idler pulley will then wrap around to go to the center pulley right here, which then that center pulley belt wraps around to this other idler pulley which we use to detension the belt and the rest of the belt from the other side which didn't go to the other pull other pulleys will wrap around and go to this pulley right here and then you will take you'll have to take 9 16 ratchet again 96 each ratchet again and then put it around the motor pulley so I'll come back once I have that done and after you get the belt put back on do not forget to put on these covers They're the three three eighths bolts and with that thank you for watching and hope this helped you guys change the belt on your cub cadet XT1 LT50
Thanks. Goodbye.